G'day viewers, we're back. Hello. Jez has come back. Uh, got a very good response to your first couple of videos. Certainly did. <laughs> and people did exactly what we wanted, engaged and asked questions. Yes, questions are always good. Mm. And so I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to read some of the questions. I'll probably be paraphrasing, but these are the questions uh, that caught Jez's eye. And she's going to give some answers. We'll start off with one from Rob749's. Um, have you ever witnessed violence or non-consensual non -consensual sex? Um, I have a few times. Uh, it does happen. So generally it was like clients that are intoxicated or under the influence of other substances. Um, but sometimes they can just generally just be fucking assholes. And I assume there's yep. a security response um, we in because I work in a brothel. Um, we all have buzzers in the rooms, generally like a big button or a concealed button, um, and I've never heard it pressed once. Um, generally because like they're in a position when they can't press it, um, and if they do, if they are in that position, generally we're asked to scream or just get out of that situation. Um, I've had to scream twice in the year and a half that I've been working. Um, that sort of shit happens, like a police officer is in the line of duty, they might be assaulted at work, same as, you know, working in any sort of con consumer-based in industry where you're working with, a, like, a customer or a client. And a lot of people think that that's, it's, like, just a sex worker thing, but people can be assaulted anywhere. It is a worthwhile point. If someone's going to say, ha-ha, bad things happen, therefore sex work shouldn't happen, eh, bad things happen in a buttload of jobs. Yes. Um, well, I've actually written on my blog on my two experiences with actually um, dealing with violence in the industry. Most of them have just me being held down. I actually have never had any like sort of being punched or violence, just being held down in the room. And it, I was not impressed because I don't like being held down. And I say no. I said no once, four times, and then I grabbed the guy in the side and pushed him off and then screamed <laughs> because he was all... Little guy. He thought he could con control me, but I had really sharp nails. Yeah. So, and then he tried to, you know, go, oh my God, having a heart attack. And I'm just like, you're dumb. The management doesn't take shit. So they just were just like, stop trying to fake it. We know what you're doing. Yeah. So, <laughs> and um, the one time I actually have uh, heard about violence, I didn't see it, didn't hear it, but a girl was at my word was actually punched in the face. That's so... The guy was off his nut, so... <laughs> yeah, sounds a bit. Here's a one from Silverstorm1000. Uh, he's asking, is sex work physically taxing, i.e., does it get sore down there? Um, sometimes. Uh, I've had the occasional day when I've got someone that was like... Basically the impression of two Coke cans stacked on top of each other. You know, Coke, ginormous. Um... That happens. It's not always the best feeling <laughs> sometimes. And sometimes like you'll do like tons of clients in one day. Mm. Um, the most I've ever done was ten and that was two of them were extensions, so technically it was eight. But <laughs> by the end of it I was just like That's I'm totally I'm thing. totally done. Like yeah. it was like five AM when I finally finished and I'm just like, holy shit. But the next day I woke up and I was fine and you just get over it. Just fall asleep and... <laughs> All right. So, um, John YouTube, I think the username is, uh, wanted to know what surprised you most about sex work? Um, well, I've already stated this in another video. The amount of people that weren't taking drugs in the industry was one of the most surprising things. Another thing is um, how good management can be. Like, I was expecting, you know, bottom-of-the-barrel managers, but um, I've worked at places that have fantastic management receptionists are great, they actually give a shit if you get bookings or not, and that sort of thing. And I have a couple of awesome shout outs. Westminster Secrets, you're awesome. <laughs> I don't get to work there very often, but they're awesome. And this almost ties into another question, and variations of this got asked a few times, and you have already more or less talked about this, but people interested in both the positives and the negatives. Um, positives? Uh, I've generally said flexibility, um, it's easy for the most part, sometimes it can be mentally taxing, which is a negative, um, but mostly the flexibility, the money, the, um, the fact that it's easy, you can just, you know, show up to work and make some money, it's 
you know, pretty much like any other job, but it just involves sex. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. I don't know. There's, lot, there's lots of positives. Um, there's a lot of negatives as well, and most of them aren't actually associated with the job. It's how people perceive you as a person, as a sex worker. Yeah, the social stigma. Social stigma, discrimination, just people treating you like shit. Mm. So, mm. Also, there's a variation. You did mention in the previous video you got into sex work because your friend wanted to and wanted someone with them. Did she ever say, this is why I want to do it? Um, she said she just wanted the um, independence. That's because uh, she was living at home and she wanted to get her own house and her car and just get ahead in life. And that was pretty much the same reason why I did. But I also did it out of boredom, um, funnily enough. I spent four years of my life playing one single video game and I was, to be honest, I was freaking bored and sex work can be exciting because you're meeting new people, going to new places, it gives you opportunities that you wouldn't have otherwise had doing like a nine to five job and that's why I do it. And like any job, it's not going to be for everyone. Yes, definitely not. You can basically um, say that about My friend job. has since retired from the industry, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, so... Look, I've actually got a heap more, but we might save them because people enjoy the video, so we'll draw it out so you'll come back and get some more Q&A with Jez. Uh, and keep the questions coming as well, and we'll keep answering them. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.